right, we have one more video with the logging data. And this one is going to put into practice these ideas of measure of center and spread. So we've kind of already identified whether these box plots are symmetric or skewed. And so what I'd like for you to do is to determine which is the best measure of center and spread for each box plot, and then go ahead and find that value in Excel. So go ahead and pause the video and give this a try. All right, so hopefully you gave that a try. I'm going to go ahead and find um, all of these values um, for each of these groups. So the mean is equals the average. I'll put that in and highlight that. Standard deviation, so equals STDEV. And then um, I'm going to highlight my data. So that's how that command works. The median is equals the median. And I'll highlight my data. And then the last two are the ones that are a little bit more work. So the IQR is the third quartile. So let me get that. So I'll highlight my data, put a comma and a three for the third quartile. And I'll close my parentheses. So that's my third quartile. And I can actually do this all in one line. So I'll do equals the third quartile. And that command's in there. I'll put a minus sign. And then I'm going to type the quartile command again. So quartile with parentheses, I'm going to highlight the data again, and this time I'm going to ask it to find the first quartile. So I have the third equals the third quartile minus the first quartile. So that's all in there. And then same deal with the range. So range is max minus min, so I'll do equals max. I'll open the parentheses and highlight my data. And then I'm going to close my parentheses, and I'll put a minus sign, and then I'll put min. Open a new parentheses, highlight the data again, close that parentheses and hit enter. So I got 17 for that range. And then I can copy and paste these all the way across since all the other columns that I want to calculate are either the same length or shorter. I can just copy these across. So now I have all the values that I need and now I just need to decide which ones go for which things. All right, so the first question is asking about group two. So that's this one in the middle. It says group two is uniform and symmetric. What is the best measure of center to use with that? And that would be the mean. And then the measure of spread that goes with that is going to be the standard deviation. So for group two, I want to use 14 for the mean. Let me change the color on these. Let's do a green. So I want to use 14 for the center as the mean, and 4.98 is the standard deviation there. So that takes care of one of them. Uh, the next one is asked about group three. So this is the one all the way on the right that's clearly less skewed. So if it's skewed, the best measure of center is going to be the median, and the best measure of spread is going to be the IQR. So for group three, I want to put the median at 18 and the IQR at seven. So I'm going to use these ones. Okay. All right. And then uh, group one is only slightly skewed. That's this first one. And it's, it's not too bad. It's a, it's a little bit right skewed, but not bad. And so we're asked to calculate the mean, the median, and all of the measures of spread. And so if it is somewhat symmetric, we would expect those to be a little bit close. So you get 23 for the median and 23.75 for the mean. So it's not bad. Um, I have a standard deviation of 5.06. So that's kind of how the data is clustered around this X. So how close or far apart it is. The IQR is going to be the whole width of the box. So that's 7.5. Then the range is the whole length from whisker to whisker. So and that'll be 17. So hopefully you did a good job of looking at the distribution, whether it was symmetric or skewed, and then correctly identifying the measure of center and spread that goes with that.